uh, Bob Marshall was not going to let this uh, go without significant step-by-step -step challenge, ratcheting it up at every step of the way until uh, we get uh, final resolution and put Mark Herring back in his constitutional place. But what about what Herring is saying here, that you've seen the ground shift? I mean, schools were segregated. And Virginia was a place where, when I covered the State Assembly 10 years ago, you guys had sort of an event apologizing for the reaction to the Brown versus the Board decision. How do you know that the tide hasn't changed in Virginia over the last seven years since this passed? Should Moses and Jesus apologize to anybody for affirming that marriage is between one man and one woman? I mean, who's Mark Herring? Uh, you know, Louis Fourteenth. He's some standing constitutional convention, gets to announce this. Why didn't he tell everybody when he was running for office what he was doing? No, he kept this very cleverly to himself and sprung this like a Pearl Harbor attack on the, uh, on the people of Virginia uh, after he takes an oath to defend the Constitution. He didn't give any little winces or put little asterisks in the air on January 11th. Uh, when he took the oath of office, he didn't say, you know, uh, anything other than to defend the Constitution. He's arrived at this position. The same day he, he arrives at this decision, he's sending out email alerts asking people to endorse him, almost like it's his, you know, governor's campaign for four years from now. Okay, well, you're suggesting that it's political here. So you're saying Republicans haven't announced exactly what they're going to do, but that you are going to continue to fight this. Let, let me tell you what's going on. Republicans for years now have been wanting to duck all these social issues. And their refusal to face up to this and say, well, I want to talk about economic issues, but he wants to talk about social issues. Their refusal to frame the issue in terms that the people understand the common good as marriage is most essentially beneficial to the common good and it's very curious. Mark Herring doesn't bother to define marriage. Where do you get off being an attorney general, not even defining the terms that you're using in court? I mean, who gave him the ability to become, you know, prince, uh, you know, prophet, and, you know, word master? Nobody. This is a total act on his own, uh, you know, effort to take power to himself. We're talking about more than marriage theory. I mean, Virginia's ban goes farther than just the banning same-sex marriage. I mean, this is refusing economic arrangements that approximate marriage. We've talked to estate planners and lawyers here in Northern Virginia who say this has created a lot of hardship for same-sex couples that live in oh, your state. Oh, get off it. Don't tell me that. You can have a joint bank accounts. You can have joint tenants in common. You can do anything you want. You can't pretend you're married if it's two guys. Now, they haven't answered the question, why is marriage, quote, limited to two people? They haven't answered that. That's got to come. Why? Because the, the advocates for this are the gay, lesbian, bisexual, and transgender. Well, the bisexuals have to have at least one of each to be satisfied. Don't tell me this is not coming. This is to attack and undermine the most fundamental relationship between human beings that comes directly from the Creator and ought to be protected by the laws of man. Shifting gears before we let you go, Delegate Bob Marshall.